Group of Eight Germany Joint Research Cooperation Scheme supports the exchange of skills and knowledge of mutual benefit to both Australia and Germany. An agreement between the Group of Eight Research Intensive Universities in Australia and the German Academic Exchange Service will provide nearly $2 million over three years to collaborative research projects over a wide range of disciplines. The joint research scheme that has been set up between eight of Australia's finest universities and the German Academic Exchange Service, the world's largest scholarship granting institution, supports the internationalization of science, research and development in Australia and Germany. Australia's group of eight universities are delighted to be involved in this initiative. The world of research is increasingly global and increasingly competitive. An initiative of this kind is greatly welcome. Germany has a wonderful reputation for its work in research and development. Together I am sure that we can deliver substantial economic, cultural, social and environmental benefits to our two countries. There have been very interesting collaborations already between Australian researchers and German counterparts. They haven't really been funded in the past. There was no body of funding on both sides. So this scheme is great because it's just filling this gap, filling this demand of funding and bring also into public these research corporations and their very interesting outcomes for both of our countries. In my view, the value of German-Australian research cooperation cannot be overestimated. Germany, as the world's third largest economy, an export nation and the technology centre is highly dependent on effective scientific research and development as a key to future productivity and innovation. The same applies for Australia. Although the country, unlike Germany, is blessed with rich natural resources, it inevitably is also part of today's worldwide innovation race. In 2008, 26 teams of researchers received funding to visit their partners in Australia or Germany. These projects ranged from research on renewable energy sources, to the health of people in rural areas, to the participation of Turkish Muslim migrants in the German and Australian communities. We're doing a project on diversity and social protection among Turkish communities in Germany and Australia. And it's been a wonderful uh, stimulus to all sorts of new ideas that we're generating with our German team members. It's a wonderful scheme and a wonderful way to develop these sorts of global networks. It was a really, really comprehensive program and very, very helpful for us Australians to understand their research area. We're lucky enough with the Group of Eight uh, German Exchange Research Scheme that uh, we're working with uh, these health economists and we're getting uh, an international perspective on clinical pathways and hopefully the uh, results that we come up with are going to influence a lot of health policy and I can't see that our project would have progressed to the point that it has without the face-to-face -face visit. Our project is about cognitive engineering for navigation assistance. Our visibility has helped us with the commercialization of ideas or with contacts to the industry. From the perspective of research training, I think this initiative is invaluable. All this is exciting and very much improving our collaboration. The GO8DAAD scheme has enabled me to um, be involved in the newest exciting frontier of astronomy at the moment, which is uh, high energy gamma ray astronomy. My colleague uh, Stefan Wagner is a member of the HESS consortium, which is the consortium which operates the HESS gamma ray facility in Namibia. This is a European consortium and being involved with Stepan enables me to get access to the very latest uh, state-of-the-art gamma ray data. So it's been a very useful resource in uh, helping us to stay abreast of the newest developments in astronomy. As German ambassador to Australia, I congratulate the group of eight and the German Academic Exchange Service for their far-sighted initiative. I wish that the research scheme results in a lively exchange between universities, scientists and academics in both sciences.